Hi friends, today let us learn artificial neuron model. So after finishing off uh, what, what is the difference between human and computers and after finishing off human brain and how the biological neuron structure of biological neuron and working of or operation of biological neuron and then artificial neuron. So this is the artificial neuron model. So what is the basic model of artificial neuron? Of course we have already finished the evolution of artificial neuron from biological neuron but in this lecture we will discuss in detail what are the various parts of artificial neuron and how how the operation will will be performed based on proper mathematical equations so let us discuss all these issues in this video yes artificial neuron and its model first let us see what is an artificial neuron so this is very simple it's an information processing unit that is the fundamental to the operation of the neural network that means a, an artificial neuron is a, the least part of the I mean the fundamental part or the least part that means this is the smallest part of the neural network and once we have framed all these neurons that means smallest parts and we are joining all these neurons in a proper manner and we will go ahead with some algorithm then we will get the proper result for that for us so that's why this is the smallest part and what exactly this part is doing means this part is doing the information processing that means it will it will take the information and it will process the information according to the training given by us so this is what we call as artificial neuron so what is meant by its model so neuron model is like this this is the basis for the designing of artificial neuron network that means first we have discuss the neuron that means how it will be what are the different parts that's all this is an information processing unit that's all now model means how we are using that part that means how we are using this neuron and how the information is processing those things will be discussed in the neuron model that means in a there are some other I mean based on the algorithm the model may be different mathematically but the basic structure everything will be almost same and next let us see what are the different parts in this model there are three basic elements in the model the first element is synapses or connecting links adder and activation function so these are the main basic elements in the model let us see first the diagram of the model, block diagram of the model so that we can know all these parts. So we can uh, discuss all these parts in this lecture, in the after block diagram. So this is the artificial neuron model. There are some input nodes, we can call them. Input signals are given from these nodes and those are passed through proper weights and these are the weights WKI, WK2 and WK3 are the weights. We can generally call, call them as synaptic weights and they will be added up. Summation will be there and they will be added up and there is a small bias BK where the input of this bias is 1 and the weight is BK. Okay, this will increase the, we will just see one by one, this is bias part, VK as you know this is induced local field, and once this is completed and that induced local field is given to the activation function and then that will be after activation function that will be the item will be the final output of the system or this particular neuron. So we can discuss here the x1, x2, x3 are the input nodes that means the output of previous neurons and once this is completed there are synaptic weights and these synaptic weights will be multiplied with the corresponding inputs so that 
after this waits there will be the some product that product will be for example for the first item i mean for the first neuron i mean for the first input i can say for the first input x1 the weight is wk1 that means i am considering here only one neuron that means kth neuron i am considering kth neuron here that's why everywhere we are find we are seeing k k k so the weights are given like this such that wk1 that means this is the weight from first neuron to kth neuron so that's the uh, nomenclature here so first neuron to kth neuron and similarly there are some other neurons some other weights like this there are some other neurons and some other weights see now x1 x2 x3 are the input signals from other neurons that means the output of the other neurons and weights are the corresponding weights and they are given to the summation block and and after this even the bias is also summed up here and that is given to the induced local field vk and the finally after activation function the output will come up so this is the basic artificial neuron model but in the before slide we have seen that there are three basic elements those are synapse adder and activation function we can see here activation function is visible here even summation is also visible so that may be the that will be the adder and what about synapse synapse means the input signal multiplied by the synaptic weights will be the synapse so this part the entire part left side the summation block will be the synapse so those are the main parts in this artificial neuron model let us discuss one by one in a closed manner so that we can have a clear picture on artificial neuron model let us see synapse first synapses each synapse is characterized by a weight or strength of its own so this is synapse means see i can show you synapse means one line that means from x1 to green line and then wk1 and then this blue line that is called one synapse like that there are so many synapses so now i can call that i can say that the synapse means the multiplication of input signal with the synaptic weight okay that's what he has explained here see each synapse is characterized by a weight or strength of its own of its own means that of its own means that is the input so input has strengthened with the weight that's what he is going to tell us and the next point is a signal xj that's our input signal he has taken j as the sum value for example if x1 is uh, i mean if input signals are running from 1 to n he has taken j as the one of the element in that just like a generalized element so here xj is the input signal at the input of the synapse j very good j is connected to the neuron k is multiplied by the weight wkj so he is willing to explain how wkj will come up so xj is the input input from uh, that means that is the input provided to neuron k from jth neuron that's that's why here weight has been declared as wkj that means wkj is the weight from neuron j to k okay that nomenclature we are going to adopt and we need to follow the same that's the nomenclature here and then the next point is yeah unlike a synapse in in the brain but in the synapse in brain we have this discussed in the reverse manner maybe from j to k means it is w j k but here it is in the opposite side so we need to see this part and this so unlike in brain in brain there is no negative weights but here negative weights are there the synaptic weight of an artificial neuron may lie in a range that includes negative as well as positive values okay that we need to take care 
but in brain there is no negative only positive things are happening so this is the description about the synapse that means input input signal and synaptic weight so the next part is adder or we can call it as sum summation so obviously an adder for summing the input signals weighted by the corresponding synaptic weights of the neurons that means this is an adder for example if there are three elements having the inputs x1 x2 x3 and there are three weights having the named as wk1 wk2 wk3 now i can say that summation will be the summation of product of those two that means x1 wk1 plus x2 wk2 plus x3 wk3 in that way we need to do it okay and then yeah the operation described here constitute a linear combiner that means it is simply combining the things in a linear manner that's a very simple concept so the next part is activation function so an activation function is to limit the output of the neuron amplitude of the output of the neuron that means we are limiting the things output of the neuron such that we can conclude by application of this activation function it is also referred to as squashing function in that it squashes the permissible amplitude of the amplitude range of the output signal to a finite value so this is a very important thing and we uh, activation functions there are three types of activation functions and that will be explained in the next video okay yeah typically the normal amplitude range of the output is in between 0 and 1 or in between minus 1 and 1 and they are in closed brackets that means 0 and 1 will be included in that similarly minus 1 and 1 will be included in that that means the range may be starts from 0 exactly from 0 and it may end exactly at 1 there may be any value in between 0 and 1 including 0 and 1 okay that's the meaning of it so finally there is one more thing we haven't discussed this is bias bk so the main purpose of this bias is it is externally applied and the main purpose is to improve the net input or to reduce the net input that means the local induced field may be increased or decreased by using this bias so that's why this is externally applied to the network based on the requirement so it has the effect of increasing or decreasing the induced local field depending on whether it is positive or negative that's uh, clearly visible as it is in a, uh, we are doing addition there if it is positive the net effect will be increased if it is negative it will be reduced very simple so mathematically how we need, we need to represent all these things these things are very nicely and simply represented see first uk that means this is the uh, uk is summation uh, summation of product of input and synaptic weights so that will be that will start from j equal to 1 to m and wkj xj it's uh, simple uh, as i have, we have already discussed uh, if, if i have three inputs and how it will be and three outputs how it will be so same thing i have that was given in a systematic generalized manner okay not more than that so after once uk has come i need to add up the uk with bk so that i will get the vk so that's what he has written so vk is equal to uk plus bk uk means that is the sum of product of weighted inputs and bk is simply the bias okay those two things has to be added and the next step yk what is yk yk means simply the yk is the output of the neuron and vk is the induced local field so the induced local field has to be given to the activation function so that we will get the output so yk is equal to phi of vk or phi of uk 
plus bk and finally without any confusion we can also take bk as one of the inputs and we will also we will give some number to that so uh, most possibly the number may be 0 so j equal to 0 we can give like that and bk is taken as the weight w kj k0 okay for for a practical purpose so in this manner we can simply write these equations in a simplest manner with only one equation that is vk is equal to sigma j is equal to 0 to m wkj xj that means here j equal to 0 is added okay that will be the component for bias where x0 is equal to plus 1 so it is giving unit input with weight bk so wk0 is taken as bk okay simply uh, the top three equations has been written in a simplest manner in this way okay this this is the basic artificial neuron model where how the mathematical calculations will be done and all these things were discussed and the left out part is only activation function there are three types of activation functions and those will be discussed in the next class or next video and thank you for your kind support and our youtube channel is going very nicely and please if you like this video please like it if you want to share this video with your friends and family please do that if you haven't subscribed till late kindly subscribe to my youtube channel because there are a lot of views for our videos but the subscriptions are very less so please try to help us to improve ourselves and to help you, help us in a better manner okay, please subscribe to our youtube channel and once you have subscribed please try to press the bell button so that you will get the notifications whenever we upload any video so that you can follow our our channel regularly and please comment for the videos so that we can improve ourselves to help you out better in all the aspects okay thank you thank you so much